everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing my face powder declutter today. Um, I think this is probably my third, second to last, third to last um, declutter video. I have this one and foundations and then I might actually do a brush declutter because um, out of all the declutter videos I've ever watched, I've never seen anybody do a brush declutter video. So yeah, so I'm going to get started. These are all of my face powders. This actually is not a powder. This is supposed to go into the foundations. Um, what? Why is this not opening? Right. Uh, Lumi Cushion. Another video. So first powder I have is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is a cult favorite amongst a lot of people. Um, <laughs> speaks for itself. Um, it does smell strongly of like... I don't know. It's not even baby powder. I was going to say baby powder, but it's not baby powder. Um, I have the Neutrogena Mineral Shears Loose Powder Foundation. Um, yeah, so this is the shade Natural Beige. This is actually quite dark for me. I don't like the packaging on this because if you look at it like this, you would think that this is the top, but it is not. This is the top. So you open it like this. I still keep all of this in here because I don't like the mess that it makes, but it is actually quite dark for me. Looks like that. You can still see where it was on my hand. Um, this is the only powder that actually works for me in the summer when I get a little bit more sun, so I am holding on to that. I have two of these L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte powders. I have 300 and 200. I use 200 quite a bit. Whoa, I think I just broke that. Yeah, I broke the lid. Great. Good job. High five me. Damn it. But this is 200. And then I also have 300. Which I haven't even touched yet. But honestly, the shades aren't too different. So... This part still works, but the lid is actually broken off this one. That's just great. I hate when that happens because then I don't want to use the product. Um, this has been a current favorite, the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Powder in light. Um, honestly, I think they should have just made this whole thing powder and like put something in the bottom as an applicator because nobody ever uses these applicators. And I would have been willing to pay a little bit more for twice as much product, but... This is almost my perfect match, so I really like that powder. This is my favorite powder ever. This is the Tarte um, Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. This is a little sample size that I got when I purchased the Amazonian Clay Foundation, and I love this stuff. It makes your skin feel like as smooth as like a baby's bottom, like feels like you're touching a cloud. It's amazing. I love this stuff. Um, we have the Bare Minerals... Touch Up Veil in Translucent looks like this. Actually is not translucent. Um, it does have a little bit of a tint. I like this stuff. I use it when I travel, so I'm keeping that. I have two of these. I have These are the Bare Minerals powders. I have a matte in the shade Medium Beige and an original in the shade Medium Beige. These are also good for summertime when I'm using this one. So, keeping those. And then I also have another favorite, the Maybelline Dream Wonder in Classic Ivory. Looks like this. It's a really lightweight powder. So, I like that. Um, I honestly don't think I'm going to get rid of anything in here. Actually, no. I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the Maybelline, not Maybelline, the Wet n Wild Fergie. What is this called? Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. If you have oily skin like I do... Do not ever get this. I think they don't even make this anymore, but there's a good reason. Um, this has straight up glitter, and then when you do this, you barely get any product on it on your finger, and you can like press and press, and there's nothing like there's barely any product on here, and then it has glitter all up in it. So, getting rid of this one, I even still have a little applicator thingy in here. Getting rid of that. Um, I do like this one, the Milani Prep Set and Go. It says it's transparent. This is in the shade 01. It does have a white cast when you put it on your face, so you do have to be a little bit careful of that, but this is a great powder. 
I also have the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I think they actually changed the packaging, which I'm really happy about because that is huge, bulky packaging. And then the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. Favorite. Um, very smooth. Very, like, makes your skin feel really soft. Not a soft with the Tarte one, but it has the four colors in it and works really well. So, keeping that. So, getting rid of the Wet n Wild Fergie and keeping everything else. Alright, so that's what my powders look like now. I'm still incredibly upset with myself for breaking this one because that just really sucks. So, alright, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, give it, a, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!